all right welcome back to my youtube channel this is shay dairo today we want to talk about how to get suppliers phone number from 1688 app and add them on wechat or alipay in order to have a good business business uh, relationship with them you know this is just like we using whatsapp here in nigeria in order to chat our friends and family or business partners you know uh People find this more comfortable chatting up suppliers using WeChat or Alipay, or Alipay than chatting the supplier on 1688 app uh, because of many benefits attached to WeChat and Alipay. So we find this more comfortable chatting our suppliers on WeChat and Alipay. Alright, but this is a big problem or challenge to many newbies in the business like they don't know how to get full number of suppliers they don't even know how to add them up on uh, WeChat or Alipay so today I've come up with the best solution to this on how we can uh, 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 make solution to this so before we move forward to this training if you are very new to my YouTube channel please I'm begging you just subscribe to my channel to my channel here doing this will help me to grow my channel please support me i love you please help me to grow this channel all right when do that just uh you see this notification bell here just click on it and when click on it you see all just select all all right this will make you to be notified of my subsequent video uploads just like this all right if you think this video uh, really makes sense to you just leave me a thumb up here i will appreciate doing this even help the growth of this channel when you click on this thumb up like you like the video all right and if you feel like you have comment on this you want to appreciate me or with one way or the other just drop your message here leave a comment i will appreciate it so let's go back to the business of the day how are we going to get suppliers phone number and add them on wechat or alipay right first thing to do now is you can see i'm using 1688 app to do this please use 1688 app that will make it more comfortable in order to uh get this right all right uh, you see this icon here i click on this icon if you don't know how to do that please you can you can check my video on that how to picture search products all right next thing now is let me search for this product let me search for this so we use this one as a sample now all right the first thing now um, is uh randomly let me just choose anyone then we're going to do some research on it all right look at this store now for the first method of getting the contact is uh look at this you click here that's enter a shop this enter a shop when click on enter a shop, a shop this will take you to uh where we're going to get the number let me just scroll down again so that i will see how i did it see here again you see enter a shop here so is that by clicking here or this second method but at times it may work and uh, it may be there it may not be there uh, by clicking this blue icon here let me click it blue icon then let me check this one this second one here shop member okay so let me go back now so we are going, going to click on this enter a shop here so let me click on enter a shop And when done that the next thing to do now is to click on this one oh it's not translating or what okay maybe due to network this is not translating easily for me so i will leave this one now so just want you to know that this is what we are going to click next All right this one now and when clicked the next thing to do is let me check here what's written here okay can't see okay let me click this uh, second one here and see okay let me check oh, i can't start translate let me click this one all right this is the number now so i will i, I, will, I will let me see if i can see what's written here cancel okay so the number now i click on the number let me go back like you may not get it so i want to repeat this process again so i click on this one here you see this enter a shop when I click on enter a shop then I, I i click this first the first one here this one i click the first one here then when I click the when I click it i click the left one here left one here 
There are some shops that they look or the appearance may be different from this one, but use your idea of this video in order to get uh, to get it right. So click this second one here. Then here itself in some shop, you'll see two options. One is cancel, one will be cancel here. Cancel then other one will be here that will say die number. But here now we are just saying cancel. So but I'm just using my uh, uh, wisdom to 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 catch up with this. So I will I will click on this number now. So I click, I tap on I tap on the number now I'm getting this one. So I'll click just once. When I click on just once, the number should appear here. So I will unpress and uh, copy or cut the number. So when done that, let's go back to my WeChat. Let's start from WeChat here. So from WeChat now, we want to know if this number exists on WeChat. So you click on this search button now. That I type, I click on search button. Then here, here now, you will tap on this search bar and long press. Then click on paste. Then when click on paste, you will click on this, on this, but this one, this number, the number there, you will click here. So, want to know if all right, this number is available on WeChat. So the next thing to do now is just uh, to click on add. So if you want to edit this contact now, like you want to edit it so as not to make mistake when this person accepts your friend request, like you so I will not be asking like who is this. So you click on this edit contact, edit contact. So you click on it. When you click on it, then you will come here. This place now you will edit it to your taste. So uh, this person is selling bag, right? So you will click. Maybe I'll, I will remove this one. I don't understand. That is based on my own choice. You may th that may be the way you want it to be edited. So, so so that you're able to remember the kind of supplier you are saving on your WeChat. So I'll put uh, bag. Is it bag? I think what we, we search for was is it bag? Oh no, not bag. I think it's. Uh, let me say where. Let me just say females where, female. Where else? So I just put this one here, Kim. All right. So just find the way of saving the number such a way that you remember. All right. All right. When done this description, you, if you feel like to put description, you can put description there. Then just click on save. Then uh, uh, then you click on this add. When done that, you click on add. So I'll click on I will I will, I will click on add now. All right, we have added this person now. So, at uh, times, automatically this thing will be accepted. It's based on how the owner sets the account. And at times, uh, you have to wait for the confirmation of the uh, this account owner, uh, that that suppliers, in order to confirm the uh, friend request before you can be friends here. So, when order you can send this person message you now. Click on message, then you can write. To send message to this person, all right. So that is uh, about okay. Female wear. So you know this one now uh, is added automatically because this person has have set this the default of his or her account that you should allow friends immediately. So there's no need for confirmation before you can be friends. But many people usually uh, set it so that. It, they will confirm it before you can be friends here. So I think we are done with this WeChat owner, right? So this is WeChat. You can chat with them here. So then uh, mostly some of them may not understand English, all right? So I don't advise you when you are chatting with the supplier, just assume that the supplier do not know how to speak English, right? They are not speaking English there. Um, very few of them can write and speak English. So. Uh, most of them, if you write them in English, they have to translate it like they are giving them stress. So if they are attending to many people online, they may not even, when they are see that you are on now, you are giving them problem, they may not respond. So if you want them to respond, you have to use Swift key keyboard in order to charge them, charge them in uh, their language. So uh, this Swift key keyboard, now, I have set this thing now to Chinese. Anything I'm typing here, it will, it will, it will, it will uh, translate to china china language here and i will send it so if you don't know about this how to use this i have video on it here you can check my my channel on how 
to translate i think i have video of it i have the video i have the video so you can check my channel check it you will see the video about this how to translate anything online you see now this is the video how to translate so you can translate learn this thing very well you need it you need this video honestly you need this video so you need this video in order to to enjoy your importation business so i think we are done with this one right uh let's go back to alipay now so alipay now you can come to alipay okay oh, where is alipay okay this is alipay now so for you to add this person on alipay you will come to come to message okay here now come to message here this message so come to message when you click on message then you will click on this plus when you click on this plus then you click on add you click on add contacts so click on add contacts then when you click on add contacts you will now type it here look at this one now it says alipay account slash mobile number so we have the mobile number now i will, I will click on this now so when you click on, i will long press inside this bar then i will paste the number so when I paste the number i will now click on this one now see all right this mobile number is bonded with multiple alipay accounts all right this same person is using the same number for how many accounts now one two three three different alipay accounts so which of the account do i want to chat or add now so uh let's say i'll just keep pick one and i will say let me pick this first one this first one now so there are some like that now this person now the next thing now is to click on add friends add friend you click on add friend and if you want to send this person money now you can click on transfer that is if you want to send this person money all right so add friend now you click on add friend when add friend then you click you uh edit this place i am vic mega store right you can edit this one now and tell the person that i am my name is so 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 i want to buy so 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 from your store do you understand me so you can easily put that kind of message in order to trigger the response from them so by me now i'm just leaving it that i am vic mega store so it may not make sense to you but you can edit it and put the right thing there then you click send all right so i've sent friend request to this person now you can see here now friend request has been sent so when the friend uh when this person confirm my friend uh request now i will able to see this person here so uh here now i will see this person here when check through these are people on my listing now so i will see this person here when i set you see the person here so that is one the other means now is clicking here you can click here now instead of this plus you click this other one here when click on it then if you have this will bring list of people on your phone this contact right if you are scrolling now you see different people on your phone that are using uh alipay on your contact so let's assume that you have saved this uh number on your phone now you can easily trace those people now and add them from your phone so that is all about that and i believe this uh very short video really help you if you think it really help you uh, uh, uh i'm just begging you to subscribe to my youtube channel and try channel. to watch this video also so please sub subscribe to my youtube channel uh, uh uh then uh please click on notif notification bell then leave me a like on this then give me a comment if you think this really makes sense i love you bye for now